But we can't get rid of our genetics. I mean, we're not going to magically change our eyes, color eyes of our uh, color of our eyes, uh, or the early life experience. But we could change our attitude toward it. We can change um, how we relate to now and now today. How how do we do that? Yeah. So if you think about uh, how our minds work uh, as human beings, we're able to think forward, like uh, to run the movie forward. And we think about what would the consequences of this behavior be? Mm -hmm. And we we kind of imagine different scenarios and we think, okay, I don't want to do that because it's too risky. Or, yes, I'm going to take this chance because I think it's it's going to work out. And it's all done mentally. Mm. So we can think in terms of creating our own conditions. Mm. If it, if the environment is 40% of potential in us. So we're really dealing with 60% and exactly. really stuck. The genetic is... Well, not, well, no. not stuck, but... Well, not even there because... Because of epigenetics? No, because... Well, yes, because of epigenetics, but also neuroplasticity. Oh, Okay. Yes, that so talk about that. A we're little. able to mold and reshape our physical brain as well as our body. I mean, you see people that go to the gym and transform themselves completely, right? Or lose weight or, or uh, become marathon runners mm -hmm. and and just uh, they all they do go it beyond through, the odds. Yeah, so. through their mind. Hey, yeah, we always hear of these people that beat the odds. Mm -hmm. It's because of that 20%. It was, let's say it's, that's the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. That there's a chance uh, to change the patterns. But then where where does it stop? Because like you say, there's more than 20% because the environment mm. that they're creating now, going to the gym instead of going to McDonald's. So uh, if you think about hanging out with people that... Uh, go to the bar and eat fried foods and they, they don't exercise and that's part of your lifestyle, you're more likely to stay in that unhealthy lifestyle. But then you start hanging out with people at the yoga center and the gym and you have friends and that talk about health and uh, or you're around that. It's mm. a different scenario. Absolutely. You have a different experience. You're creating the conditions for your own growth. In other words, you're creating your own environment. You know, I was thinking this earlier um, the concept of money, uh, I think over the past 15, 12, 15 years, my concept of money has completely changed. Mm -hmm. And that is really being in an environment of people that are entrepreneurial, that are thinking about money differently than someone who punches a time card. So there's something there too about epigenetics turning on and off, like that 20% chance that you aren't locked into the fate of your past or even your culture, your family of, you know, you grew up in a poor family, you're meant to be poor or working class forever. Or you grow up even in a rich family, you could lose everything, you know, and, and blow it, the money. But this idea that you can actually create and change something so um, intangible, like how do you, how do you move your mind to that? It, I thought that was, I was just thinking about that today, how, how different how I think about what I spend my money on, how yeah. what we what we think is valuable, what we don't think is valuable, and where does money come from, and what's possible. So even just money, and and th so think about the body with health, what's possible. Like someone tells you, you have. Uh, my dad was uh, diagnosed with uh, leukemia. He went through chemo. The first time it didn't work. The second time he said, I only have a twenty percent chance, which is interesting, twenty percent. And I said, Well, they didn't tell you zero. And he said, well, that's a good point. I said, you're going to be one of those 20%. Just hold your mind. And my he was in an environment of someone who can hold that vision for him. And I'm, I promise you, his mind was impacted by, instead of having everyone tell him, you're, you know, it's terrible, terrible, to have someone say, it's possible. And my mom was there and we were all like rooting for him. I think that also creates health, don't you think, in recovery? So when we think about our physical bodies too, money, our physical bodies, relationships, what's possible for us, what kind of relationships can we have?